Hi, I just wanted to quickly show you where if you add new logos to the page over time, um, there's a couple things to check. Uh, just make sure that the background is white. Um, but I think that the problem we were having was actually that this background was a little bit off white, which was setting these off a little bit and making them appear yellower. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's now fixed. This is pure white. That's done here in this change strip, strip background and you can choose a white color. White is all F, uh, six Fs. <laughs> so if it's slightly off, which is what this was, it'll be just slightly off white. So it'll make these stand out. So anyway, that's fixed. The second thing that I had forgotten to do once I, um, once I fixed this is look at the settings. If you scroll down here, and you usually do have to scroll to see this, but you'll see this is what the image is. So this is what if somebody rolls over the image, um, it will say, actually, I should say the tool tip is. So um, it's always good. It by default sometimes will take the name of the JPEG that you or the image that you have. So if it's .jpeg, it'll include that. So to get rid of that, you just can replace both of these here. This one is what tells Google, um, and it also helps with accessibility tools. And this one, the tooltip one, is the one that if you roll over the image and hover, it'll pop up a little tooltip. You don't have to even have one of these, but it also doesn't hurt. So <laughs> it's up to you if you want to keep these or not. We'll leave that one there. Let's look at the Great American Insurance as well. And again, I do have to scroll down to see this. They kind of hide it here. And because I had dashes instead of spaces in that name of that file, it just came through with all of that. So I'm going to just change this to their full name. And I'll just paste that here too, copy and paste it. Uh, so there's a tooltip. And then also make sure that it's linking correctly, which it is. Let's check this one too. Yeah, McLaren's. And I usually do have it open into a new a link. Let's see. I think you come in here. I like to choose new window if I'm linking to an outside site. So um, this is under the link tool. And this is so when you when you drop an image or a logo onto the page, you'll always see this little link. And if it's just dropped in there, it won't be linked. So it is important to link it. It looks like you've already done that come in here and then just choose new window. Now, if you're linking to another page on the same site, I usually choose current window. Um, and a lot of times you can just choose a page here, but for example, if you're linking to a blog post, you might want to keep it on that same window. But with new sites, I think it's good to keep it in a new window. Um, I also noticed that these are grouped right now. I'm going to ungroup these because it was all kind of grouped together. And then also I wanted to show you quickly the mobile view if you come in here, now it's probably going to be a little different because I ungrouped it, but I wanted to take a look at these um, sponsors again. Let's give this a little more space. Um, sometimes things get a little too close in mobile, so you can use these little handles. They're called drag tools to kind of pull everything up and down in space. Um, so you kind of grab that background. This is a, a strip, basically, that all these things are in. And then if I want to give a little space to the gold sponsors or the platinum sponsor, we can just kind of space it out a little bit. Um, a lot of times, too, I will put these side by side if I think they work well that way. That way it's not such a long page. Um, and I think I had all these spaced out, right? Oh, there's only one silver sponsor right now. But uh, when I ungrouped them in the desktop, I think it, it kind of reset the mobile. So it's always good to check the mobile and just make sure everything is in the order you want, if it's stacked the way you want. Um, I think I'm going to keep these. Well, we could put these side by side too. So this is always an option to just kind of make it a little less scroll, uh, scrolly. <laughs> so we'll space these out a little bit, make sure this looks good. And then, yeah, I think this looks better. So now it's not quite so tall. Everything's spaced out now. It's nice. I can also use the same stretch handle to pull the page up and get rid of some extra space. Um, but I'm always happy to add logos when, when you have them. But um, it's always nice to be able to do it yourself, too, because you might have a lot of them coming in over time. And you might want to just do them rather than having to email me every time you have a new sponsor drop in to drop in. So um, the other thing, you, things you can look at is centering. Just try to make sure all these objects are centered. The 
guides will usually come up and show you when, when it's centered to the full page. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm going to hit publish when I'm done and I'm happy with all these changes. I'm going to get rid of that space here. Let's move this up a little bit. There we go. All right. I'm going to publish this. Let me know if you have any other questions, um, but it looks like you, you've gotten the hang of just dropping in logos, and I think your logos were fine. It was just that the background was a little bit off. Um, so these are now correct on here, and I double-checked mobile view that, again, that's here. Um, and then when you're done with everything, just hit publish, and then make sure to close out of the editor, too, so you don't have more than one editor open at the same time. So that's it. Let me know if you have any other questions.